Hello Virgo, this is your almost daily love reading and extra extended on my Patreon account. Link is below if you'd like to join for only $16 for all extended readings. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your love and support. And Virgo, please don't forget that this is a general reading. It may not be a story or message. Kindly use your best judgment. This reading will not be conveyed with specific rules because again, it is not a personal reading. As we go along with the reading, you will know where you stand in the storyline. Okay, Virgo, so I've already shuffled and actually, again, sometimes I do this, I forget to hit the record button and I realize later that I haven't. <laughs> so anyway, I don't want to waste this spread because it looks, um, looks like a pretty important message for you, okay? So let's take a look. We've got the Five of Swords in reverse here, Virgo. Um, I'm sensing this is an indication of someone not wanting to um, play mind games, it's almost like giving up as well or oh, you know what I'm sensing is somebody could be playing games and they risk uh, losing a relationship that could have been very very prosperous very stable that has longevity future you guys could have built a legacy here right so somebody lost in their game they thought they were gonna win but they actually lost it because they lost the one and only connection it's almost like look at the empress here a connection or someone who could have been their lifetime partner who could have given them a lot of abundance again prosperity uh, care and love you know so we've got the nine of swords in reverse here virgo so it looks like someone has been stressing out a lot and um you are definitely going through a separation with this person, right? With the Nine of Swords in reverse and as well as the Ten of Swords here. But what I'm seeing also is that Virgo, now they want to come back as the Knight of Cups. Doesn't really matter. Again, it's not gender specific. Knight or Queen or King or Empress or Emperor. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Doesn't really matter. Again, what signs? Anybody could embody any of this energy. But, you know, in case you want to hear it, you could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, strong Gemini, somebody like you, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, strong Aries as well, okay? So the Emperor is in reverse here. Somebody could be stressing out, feeling like they have lost their control over this whole situation. Perhaps at one, at one point in time, this person was, someone here was, um, Someone here seemed to be in control, seemed to be mature, seemed to know what they were doing, but I, I guess that they they kind of messed up here, right? Because the Emperor in reverse is somebody whom abuses their power as well. And Knight of Swords is in reverse. This indicates to me, um, this is supposed to be the fastest energy, but when it's in reverse, maybe there is no forward movement. And also this with the sword in reverse sometimes it could also indicate that this person could have been lying as well but with it being in reverse and right next to the knight of cups here it does indicate also that there could be some sort of a delay in in, in them um, making moves towards you or vice versa wanting to either apologize or wanting to you know uh, reconcile because i feel like now they are recognizing that this is the person that they want this is their lifetime partner right this this the emperor and the empress supposed to be the perfect couple but the emperor is in reverse again doesn't matter which um the gender okay so one person messed up but the other person is still in the upright position so We've got the Seven of Cups, an indication of confusion. Maybe someone here thought that they had a lot of uh, options, but not all options are good, right? Three of Pentacles is in reverse. And when it's in reverse, it could it either indicate that somebody does not want to work on this connection anymore or that perhaps the foundation was not, uh, the foundation of this uh, relationship was not strong enough, okay? Eight of Cups here, an indication of someone moving on, not wanting to um, not wanting to deal with this person anymore or this connection anymore. Or for some reason, I feel like 
it is a choice that someone here feels that it is best to actually move on and to take care of themselves because Nine of Pentacles also is an indication of someone being single, um, self-sufficient, independent as well. See, again, previously, one person here could have been giving and nurturing a lot to this connection, but eventually they decided, you know what, mm -mm, I'm going to take care of myself this time around. Um, it is single by choice, okay? It doesn't mean that, of course, the Nine of Pentacles could mean that singlehood, but does not mean that you are single or that person is single. It could also indicate that someone just keeping their options open, just taking care of business, taking care of themselves. And also we've got, again, this is Hermit. This is your energy, right, Virgo? Um, I feel like you've become wiser because of this past uh, experience that you've, you've had. But also I'm sensing that someone here could still be, um, I wouldn't say investigating, but is still watching you. To me, the Hermit is a more mature version of the Page of Swords. Um, but this is somebody also whom... Um, is so searching, trying to reflect. And with the lamp here, it's someone here could be feeling like they're in the dark, but trying to find light at the end of the tunnel. I'm sensing there could be someone here also feeling like maybe there could be hope amidst the darkness here. That maybe there could be hope to reconcile. So you got the lovers, an indication of could have been a third party situation. Somebody could have lied, could have cheated. Start, started an affair elsewhere and also we've got the again ten of swords it means completion um painful ending but this what i'm seeing what i'm seeing here is that you know the ten of swords it it may mean that it's the ending or a very painful ending betrayal but for me it also indicates a new beginning right because 10 is the completion it's almost like the death card where um, when it has, you know, although it means an ending, but there's a new beginning here. That's what I'm sensing. I've also got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, Virgo, look, there's a Nine of Pentacles and we've got one Pentacle here. So this is Nine and one is Ten. So initially, again, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. This could have been the, you know, someone here is taking back the, the big Pentacle no longer giving it so something is missing here uh, and someone here just does not want to again nurture this connection anymore perhaps in the uh, past you were being very generous with your love with your care as well as could be money as well things of value seven of wands here is an indication of someone who, um, standing their ground blocking somebody from coming in or um, having their principles intact integrity pride because they know they are right right this could also indicate someone fighting for their rights i feel like this is somebody who wouldn't budge okay somebody who wouldn't budge for anything less than what they think they deserve i feel like someone is never ever gonna accept that there is a third party never gonna accept that if this person was to come back they better not cross these boundaries, right? Page of Swords in reverse, speaking of the devil, <laughs> although this is not the devil, um, because I was talking about the hermit just now, and we've got the Page of Swords. If somebody is stalking you, okay, or you're stalking them, but whatever the case is, the two person here actually, you know, watching each other, um, keeping taps on each other. One more mature, one much a uh, younger i'm sensing one is there is an age gap here um but you know it may not always mean age gap emotional maturity somebody here could be less mature than the other but either ones right here looks like something is coming in perhaps uh because either ones indicates messages good news coming in um virgo we're gonna bring this to the extent extended let's find out what is this eight of wands what is the good news or what's the news here looks like something is coming in we're gonna dive deeper into the eight of wands here 
and also let's find out how does your person currently uh, feel about you what are their true intentions and what is the most likely outcome between your connection and your person's connection and also we get we're gonna get some advice here with the uh, romance angels oracle cards okay the link is again in the description box below you just can click on it it will bring you to my patreon account it's only for 16 dollars a month and you get all of the extended videos plus um early access to your monthly videos um as well as i think there's one more thing there i can't remember what it is but you can just check it out uh just click on it there are two membership one is the uh, goal family membership and the other one is platinum family membership uh, one is ten dollars one is sixteen dollars but the ten dollars ones um you only get the weekend uh the weekly extended reading but the sixteen dollars one one you get um all the weekly and the almost daily um schedule is there as well so but anyway take care virgo i hope to see you at the extended if nothing else i post your video here almost every single day and i hope to see you then take care bye